Oh, yeah. Streaming live on WHITRadio.org from High Tech High School in Norberg, New Jersey. It's the Young God Show. Join the conversation at 201-854-8224. I'm your announcer, Kevin, and now your host, Keaton. Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Keaton Jack. You are on the Young God Show with me and Javier. We got Christina Scott and Kareem joining the show. What up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's what up? up? We got Max working the board, and we got Danelle and Belgi in the back, along with Kev, the announcer, <laughs> and you know how we do it. This is what we do. We are Young Gods. <laughs> now, uh-huh. to speak of gods, you have me. And then you have other gods, people who are seen as immortal. And one of those people just so happens to be in Cuba. His name is Fidel Castro. But his immortality may have run out because people think he was dead. Javier, what can you tell us about that? Yeah, so over the weekend, everyone was talking about Fidel Castro dying. And apparently it's false. He sent Diego Maradona a letter about um, what appears to be oil problems and uh, three Cuban agents being released by the U.S., uh, so, yeah, basically everyone thought he was alive and uh, he was dead, but he's alive. No. That's crazy. Were you excited to hear that he was alive? No, I don't Hello. care. I don't care. A lot of uh, – it was a big thing because I'm Cuban, so a lot of people bring it up. But, you know, they say, oh, Fidel Castro died. It's like, I don't care. He's, he's like, 88. He's not doing anything else. He's not in power, so it's pointless. I feel you. I feel you. Oh, that's very crazy. I think, I mean, like, the Cuban community is pretty much just, like, waiting for him to pass away. Yeah. Wait, he's got a power? <laughs> like, I thought he was, like, a dictator. Oh, uh, yeah, he is a dictator. Yeah. They don't, I mean, the world, America doesn't want dictatorship, period. That's why we don't like North Korea. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That he's been assassinated, weird. or he's uh, he's <laughs> been, they have attempted to assassinate him many times, but it seems like the guy just can't catch a bullet. And it's funny we talk about assassination because if we bring it over into the sports world, a famous NASCAR driver, you guys may know him, his name is Kurt Busch. And now he's saying that his ex-wife or his ex-girlfriend was a trained assassin. Now, during the court case, he's claiming that she would leave to go on mercenary trips to South America and Africa. While she rebuttals his statements with saying that uh, he stole it all out of a movie script, which she had been writing for eight years. Which is basically like Mr. and Mrs. Smith. Yeah, I think that's that? very funny. Thank I you, I appreciate that. I think they will appreciate that. You know what it is, though? What? Uh, and I quote, she says, well, he had recounted one time when the couple was in El Paso, Texas. He said that Driscoll, his girlfriend's last name, left in camouflage gear only to return later wearing a trench coat over an evening <laughs> gown covered with blood. That is suspect. Now, if he's right, then we're going to have to believe that she was an assassin. But, uh... Trained assassin. Trained assassin, yeah. But, I mean, honestly, like, those things, like, those type of people don't exist. Yeah, uh, well, how do you know that? They're trained to be silent. Because I am one. Oh. Ooh. Oh, now we know they oh, do exist. Oh, my goodness. They're coming for me. They got the uh, lasers on me right now, Kareem. Max is also a trained assassin. Max, he's pointing Max at you. is a trained assassin. No, Belgeet is not a trained Belgeet. assassin. <laughs> Belgeet is not a trained assassin. But, yeah. You know what it is, though? I mean, they're in court for it. I don't know what he plans on getting out of the court case, like, you know, except maybe some money. And she said that uh, Driscoll said Bush assaulted her in his motor home at Dover International Speedway a week later. Motor home. Uh, after go. he had testified Monday, deciding to end his relationship with her. And he grabbed her by the throat, <coughs> slamming her head into a wall three times. See, now this is why they're in court. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Bush and his attorneys have denied the allegations. Sounds which like are he's a trained subject, assassin, uh, actually. But that's, you know, a separate criminal investigation. We're back on the assassination part of it. But who, wh- wh- is there a law against being a trained assassin? <laughs> Well, I don't know if there's a law, but you definitely wouldn't want to. Yeah, you don't want to. Would, I wouldn't want to know. Like, nah, I wouldn't want to know nah, if you were a trained keep assassin. Keep that confidential. Yeah. It sounds like he's a trained assassin because the way he, like, attacked her. Yeah. A little brutal. Maybe You know, maybe he is. But uh, he's a NASCAR driver, so he can go in a circle at 200 hits. miles an hour and oh. control his car. That's pretty athlete. crazy. Yeah. yeah. And uh, to follow up in French, we brought Kareem on the show because he does have uh, Muslim family members. And, you know, we just wanted to get, you know, a quick uh, opinion or, you know, a Muslim take on it. Uh, how did you and I, you're speaking for the Muslim community right now. So a lot oh, of pressure wow, creeps. Uh, dang. They're listening. I did not know that. The Honorable Elijah Muhammad is listening. <sighs> is, or is that a different? You know that's what? like Nation of Islam. That's, that's the, a little that's, different. That's the bow tie, black eyes. Yep. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. How do, you, how do you feel about, you know, the satire 
towards because I heard that it's a. Uh, in the Muslim faith, you're not allowed to show Muhammad's face. Yeah, you're not allowed to depict them. It's crazy because it's like you're also not allowed to kill people. <laughs> so, I mean, that's true. But also, unless it's in, quote, unquote, like the name of God, you know. So it's it's weird. I don't know. And do you think, know. Be, do you, th- you know what, uh, another question I have is just, do you think the world is taking this to too much of an extreme? Like, I mean, you had... Uh, 2,000 people die in Nigeria. You had, just two weeks back, 140 kids get gunned down in Pakistan. I mean, like, yeah. where are the updates on that? P- pa- Pakistan. <laughs> I say Pakistan, whatever. Yeah, I mean, like, you know, not to say that 16 I don't lives know why those are above wh- 140, but, you know, it's like, what, what is wrong with the media today where it's like it's in the news for one, one day, you feel sympathy, and then, like, your life moves on? Because everything's a fad, bro. Yeah. Even that, I just think, like, we have too many problems to really just stop and focus on. Like, there are way too many problems, and I don't, like, I think humanity is just... They all come from one problem, though. Yeah. You know? They all just come from just not not liking each other, not being compassionate with each other, not loving each other. I mean, not to get too deep on the radio show, but... Yeah. (laughs) We are the young gods. We are the young gods. So we have godly wisdom. And with that wisdom, we'll let you guys meditate. This has been our show. I'm Keaton Jack. I'm your host. We want to thank Christina and Kareem for coming on the show. Thanks. Hey. Okay, uh, we want to thank Max for doing an excellent job on the board. And you are great. We want to thank Valjeet for just sitting in and listening. And, of course, the voice of God couldn't be here, but he, we know oh, he was Cuddy's listening. Oh, Cuddy's there, too. Danelle's there, Danelle too. is there. Danelle. Great. All right, so we're going to leave you guys, and we're going to have... Tune into WHT Radio's YouTube page for more shows. Have a good day.